Creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. On this episode of Library Macabre, I will be unpackaging the July Nightworms package. Now before I break in to the July Nightworms package, I wanted to do a little review of this tea right here. This is the pumpkin pie chai tea. This is from Fred A. Scare Emporium. This is the tea that I received in last month's Nightworms package. And a lot of people told me they wanted me to pop on and do a review. And I've never done uh, reviews of, of tea before. I don't really know how I will do that. I'm afraid that all I would be able to say is that's really good and not be able to say much else. But I thought since everybody wanted me to review this, I would um, prepare some and drink it on camera and you could just kind of see me react to it. Uh, so I've been very excited uh, to drink this. I have been holding it off though for this video. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna go prepare a cup. So it says on the back that I need to add hot milk and sweeten to taste. Now, I usually drink uh, green tea, peppermint tea. I don't usually like very sweet teas and I don't add sugar or milk to my tea, not usually. Um, but since this is pumpkin pie chai, I figured that the sweetness might actually make it taste a lot better. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's do this. So here I have the pumpkin pie chai tea. I'm gonna take a sip. That's not bad. Um, I need to make it a little stronger. Yeah, it definitely needs to be a little bit stronger. I need to add maybe another teaspoon of uh, tea leaves into the mix. Um, also, I actually do think I need a little more sugar. Which I did not think I would say. I was afraid I would have too much sugar um, because like I said, I don't really like sweet tea, but I feel like the sugar would add a little more flavor uh, to the pumpkin. It's good, I can taste it, it just needs to be a little stronger. So if you go and purchase this tea, just keep in mind that you might want to add an extra little bit of tea leaves and uh, also add some extra sugar. It is really refreshing though. I do like it. Um, just the next cup that I make, I'll add a little bit more to it. Uh, but yeah, very good. Um, I don't know what else to say other than yum. All right, so now the Nightworms package for July. The theme of this package is uh, 40 years of Fangoria. It is the 40 year anniversary of Fangoria magazine. And I have been very excited to get this one in the mail. I do think the new magazine the new issue is included because I can feel it in there, but I don't really remember what the books are. Uh, I know I looked at the spoilers, but I, I do not remember what they are. Uh, but something that's cool that came along with this is the Armageddon Chord. This is by Jeremy Wagner. Now, if you have been a subscriber to the Nightworms since the very beginning, you will receive a copy of this with your package. Uh, this is a signed copy and it includes two bookmarks. We've got a bookmark for the Armageddon Chord and for his previous novel, Rabbit Heart. And then he also included a guitar pick that is signed, so that is really awesome. So this is a cool little bonus since I have been around since the beginning of uh, Nightworms. So a nice signed copy of the Armageddon Chord. All right, let's get into the package. I do see the magazine already and I haven't even taken the tab off all the way. Here is the latest issue right here. It features Midsummer on the cover, which I have not seen yet, but I'm probably gonna go see it tomorrow at the time of filming this video, of course. Oh, man, 
I am so excited to read through this. They are doing a great job on this magazine. I, I just can't get over the artwork and the quality of the articles, um, the short stories that are included. Uh, there's also a lot of book reviews and there's all kinds of good stuff. So there is the latest issue of Fango Magazine, the 40th anniversary edition. And before I get into the books, I'm gonna go through this envelope, as I always do. This is uh, the envelope that contains all of the uh, swag and cool stuff like that. All right, so I'm just gonna reach in at random and pull stuff out. So the first thing I see here is a little insert that goes over the package. So it says 40 years of Fangoria and it just goes over everything that's included in the package, which I don't want to read yet. I want to experience the package first. So what we have here looks like a little signed book plate. It says Craig Davidson on it. And that's probably a hint as to what books are included. So that's cool. We have a bookmark right here of, of Foster Homes and Flies by Chad Lutsky, one of my favorite books that I read this year. Really glad to have a bookmark of that, one of my favorite books. And here we have another bookmark for kellyowen.com. That's uh, Kelly Owen's a uh, horror author. It says 40% off any slash all ebooks or audiobooks. And there's a little code there that you can use to get a discount. All right. And it looks like we have a little card here featuring artwork by Ghoulish Gary, who is awesome. If you've not looked him up, you really should. Uh, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the front there. And then on the back, it says Fangoria, exclusive subscription discount for 10% off of your subscription. Very cool, because I am going to renew my subscription for Fangoria Magazine, so that will come in handy. And then here is a, ooh, this is cool. We have 40th anniversary Fangoria sticker. It's a sweet, love it. I love stickers. You guys have heard me say that before. Uh, I am a huge sucker for stickers. I just put them all over everything that I own. So that is really cool. And then next up, we have a really awesome magnet featuring a werewolf there. I don't know who did the artwork on this, but I will look on the insert that came with the package and see who did the art. That is amazing. I'm going to put this on my book cart. And then we have a little envelope here. So it's an envelope inside an envelope. This looks really cool. All right, so it says the bookish den. I believe I follow them on Instagram. I believe they make bookmarks if I'm not mistaken. So it's all wrapped up here. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I thought. Uh, they make carved wooden bookmarks. Look at that. It is a vampire coming out of his coffin. So cool, so cool. And I love that they put it in an envelope like this with the, the stamp on it and put red tissue paper on it. Just makes it extra spooky. All right, I think that's everything that's in here. Let me check so I don't throw anything away. Yep. All right, so that means we can get into the books. So I'm just going to pull one out at random, see what I got. Oh, this, this is awesome. I've heard great things about this. This is The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson, which he's the one who supplied uh, the signed book plate, which I could put in here. Uh, and it says on the back here, uh, growing up in 1980s Niagara Falls, a seedy but magical, slightly haunted place, Jake Baker spends most of his time with his uncle Calvin, a kind but eccentric enthusiast of occult artifacts and conspiracy theories. This sounds great. The summer Jake turns 12, he befriends a pair of siblings new to town, and so Calvin initiates them into the Saturday Night Ghost Club. But as the summer goes on, what begins as a seemingly lighthearted project will uncover mysteries darker than any of its members, young or old, had imagined. With the alternating warmth and heartbreak of the best coming-of-age stories, the Saturday Night Ghost Club is a note-perfect novel that establishes Craig Davidson as a remarkable literary talent. I cannot wait to read this. This sounds perfect. Love coming of age stories. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, and there's one other book included here. So let's see what it is. I had no idea this would be included. I totally missed the spoiler on this one. So that's cool. This is a nice surprise. Uh, I have never seen this before, uh, but this looks really cool. Look at that artwork. That's incredible. 
Uh, it's called Hug Chicken Penny. This is by S. Craig Ziegler. Um, like I said, I've never seen this before, but this looks really, really cool. So let's read the back of this and see what it's all about. It says, Hug Chicken Penny is an anomalous child. Born from tragedy and unknown paternity, this asymmetrical and white-haired baby inspires both ire and pity at the orphanage until the day that an elderly eccentric adopts him as a pet. The upbeat boy's spirit is challenged in his new home and as he is exposed to prejudice in various encounters. So this seems like another coming of age kind of story. It sounds a little bit more like a magical realism kind of book, but I'm not sure. And I like on the back here, there's like movie credits. It looks like the credits on a movie poster, so that's always a cool touch. All right, so very nice. We have a copy of Hug Chicken Penny. This is by S. Craig Zaylor. The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson, as well as a signed book plate to go along with it. The 40th anniversary issue of Fangoria. The wooden vampire bookmark by The Bookish Den. The 40th anniversary Fangoria sticker. The Kelly Owen bookmark and a 40% off discount. The bookmark for A Foster Homes and Flies by Chad Lutsky. Original exclusive magnet created for Nightworms by comic book artist Adam Gorham. Which you can follow him on Instagram. That is so cool. The little Fangoria art card by Ghoulish Gary with a 10% off of your subscription at uh, Fangoria.com. Very useful. The Armageddon Cord by Jeremy Wagner, as well as two Jeremy Wagner bookmarks and a signed guitar pick. And that is all for this month's Nightworms package. I always get so much cool stuff from the package. I always know that what I'm getting is going to be exactly what I'm interested in. As a horror book lover, this package is perfect. You really couldn't ask for anything better. I am just beyond grateful to be a part of the Nightworms rep team. Uh, these packages put together by Sadie and Ashley, they, they, they put so much work and effort into making these the best that they can. I see the work that they do, they work tirelessly on them, and the fact that they send these to me to unbox on my channel is amazing. So I want to say thank you, Ashley and Sadie, you guys are awesome, and thank you all for watching. Of course, if you have not subscribed to the Nightworms yet and you would like to do that, you can use the code MOVIE5 to get an additional 5% off of your already discounted subscription. So I will leave a link down below in the graveyard where you can go and subscribe. Don't forget to use that code though because it saves you money. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Later creeps.